A glacier is a slow-moving, large mass of ice. It forms by the gradual accumulation of snow over many years and flows under the influence of gravity. Almost 10% of the world's landmass is currently covered by glaciers, and these glaciers store about 70% of the world's fresh water. The Greenland Ice Sheet is the second largest ice sheet in the world, and it covers over 80% of Greenland. It is almost 3,200 meters thick at the center. That's longer than 32 football fields. Every winter, snow falls in Greenland. At the end of the winter, there is a layer of snow on the ground that represents the total accumulation for that year. In the summer, temperatures get warmer, but in the center of Greenland, it never gets above freezing, so the snow never melts. In fact, the snow on the ground acts like a mirror and reflects almost all of the sun's heat back into space. When the next winter comes, even more snow falls. So, we end up with a pattern where every winter snow falls, and every summer it doesn't melt away. Over time, a thick deposit of snow builds up. As the snow continues to pile up, it becomes heavy, and the deposit starts compacting from snow to a dense layer called fern, and finally to pure ice. Now we'll do a science experiment to see how glacial ice flows. Now that we know what a glacier is and how it forms, let's go into the lab to see how it moves. One of the simplest ways we can investigate how a glacier moves is to actually set up our own miniature glacier in the laboratory. So we're going to do that using a material we call flubber. Flubber is made out of four basic ingredients. Glue, borax, water, and food coloring. You can make flubber yourselves. Just refer to the recipe provided and add the ingredients in the right order. For our science experiment, we're setting up three pipes cut in half to represent the valleys that glaciers flow through. Here we have the inside of the pipes coated with different materials to simulate the glacier flowing over smooth ground versus bumpy ground. The pipes are at an angle, so the flubber will flow downhill with gravity. The final step is to fill the top part of the valley with flubber, then let it flow. Flowing glaciers shape the landscape and respond to changes in climate. How glaciers will flow in response to changes in climate is an important question for sea level rise. This is part of what makes Greenland such an interesting and important place for scientists. <laughs>